Hello everybody. Welcome to Evil Stack. Today we are going to discuss about the error that we receive when you try to start a virtual machine in Hyper-V Manager. So I have this sent over 6.6. .6. I right click and hit start. Virtual machine failed to start. It says failed to change the state. The operation failed with error code 32788. So what is this error and why did I receive this error in the first place? So I right click. I go to settings. I check all the hardware attached to the virtual machine. Boot from CD, okay. Memory is good. Processor, IDE controller, disk is attached. Bootable DVD, it's not attached. Network adapter, there you go. I see a configuration error. The network adapter is configured to a switch which no longer exists or a resource pool that has been deleted or renamed. So now this points me to the switch it says that the network adapter that I had configured to the switch no longer exists. So I click OK. I see I go to virtual switch manager. New virtual switch. I see only one network switch here, network adapter. So I click OK. Go back to the settings of the virtual machine. Select the network adapter and select the switch that exists. New virtual switch. I hit apply. I hit OK. Now I start the machine. OK, and the machine started successfully. So what exactly happened? Why did I receive this error in the first place? Let's root cause this issue. I will turn off the virtual machine. This is equivalent to powering a virtual machine. So data loss is possible. I'm OK with that since this is the vanilla VM. And I'm no longer concerned about losing my data. I hit turn off. I go to virtual switch, external, I create a new test switch. Let me name is a test switch. I hit apply. When it changes my test of network connectivity, I'm okay with this. Okay. I go to the VM again. I click settings and I change the switch from new virtual switch to the test switch that I've just created. I start the machine, it will start successfully. So let's reproduce the problem. Let me turn off the VM. I go to virtual switch manager and test switch. I will delete this switch. It will throw me an error. When this thing is going to disrupt network connectivity, I'm okay with this. I hit OK. Now, if I go and try to start the VM, obviously it won't start. Did you see? We receive the same error that we received in the first place. So, this error occurs when the network switch attached to the VM no longer exists. So, I go to setting. I will follow the same steps that we did earlier. I will change the switch to the new virtual switch since that is the only switch that exists. I hit apply. OK, and then I start the VM. The VM is expected to start successfully. Did you see that? All right, sir. So um, that is all for today. Please stay tuned for more Windows related issues. And please do not forget to subscribe. Thank you very much and have a great time ahead. Bye bye.